early tramway built about the 1880s that uh, was built by William Langley and Sons who uh, bought Michael Caffrey's mill at Langley Vale. Tramways, uh, well, tram lines were built into the mountains with a log hauler at the forest railhead. Logs were loaded at the depot onto rail bogies. The film that we're about to see is of the members of the Empire Forestry Commission that paid a visit to William Langley and Sons at Langley Vale. An inspection of the mill, the tramway and the forest. gentleman about to uh, stand is Mr Langley who is pointing out to the members of the party the various species and their approximate age. Mr Langley standing now and pointing out Talawood, Blackbutt and the uh, other timbers of the forest. The loco used for this tramway was a climax loco it had a wood burning engine with eight wheels and it had an, a, an automotive or a car type gear shift. It could climb a one in six gradient.
this is the log hauler in operation. Mr Langley imported this from New Zealand where he had seen uh, this device in operation in the Cowrie forests. The uh, winch or the log hauler pulled the log to the top of a rise and you'll see here that the operator has to transfer the drag line from the one side of the pulley to the other side otherwise of course um, what would happen is the log would try to be pulled through the pulley which uh, just wouldn't work. This is the log hauler and people came from many distant places to view this log hauler in operation. Quite a, an innovative piece of equipment in the harvesting of timber in that age. You'll notice how the front of the log has been um, cut in such a way that the, there are no sharp edges to dig into the ground as it's uh, being towed along. Here we see the members of the Empire Forestry Commission camping through the Lansdowne State Forest. The forest has quite a reputation for its stands of timber, hardwood, tallow wood and black butt in the main. And here we see the members of the Commission at the invitation of Mr Langley inspecting the stand of hardwood in this wonderful forest. One of the uh, large blackbutt logs taken uh, from this forest was photographed at the mill. It had a 21 foot girth and the whole log contained 17,000 feet of timber. Quite an impressive log. As well as having interest in the timber industry, the Langley brothers also had shipbuilding yards and uh, they built a couple of ships and they had others built for them so that they could transport their uh, merchandise. The first was the, that they built at uh, Langley Vale was the, was the Doraby in 1902 and the Calhoun in 1904. Unfortunately the Calhoun 
sunk on the Harrington Bar in 1917. So apparently these photos were taken between 1904 and 1917 and there you see the Kloon on the Harrington Wall just before she uh, broke up quite a serious blow to the company in February 1917. The Kloon in happier days. This is the main terminal head, the head of the railway, or the tramway. This was the depot to which the log hauler pulled the logs. And we see here the men working at the depot, loading the bogies to be pulled uh, back to the mill down on the river at Langley Vale. The jacks being used by the men are what are known as Maori jacks and these also were uh, imported from New Zealand by Mr Langley. The log you can see there is marked black butt, probably for the benefit of those that are not real familiar with their timbers. And this is the scene and the action taking place at the depot. Here we see the building used to house the haulage equipment, the machinery that uh, pulls those great big lengths of, uh, of wire rope. The hauler imported from New Zealand. That is the sign there at the foot of the uh, viaduct or the bridge. William Langley and Sons Langley Vale NSW.
this is a view of the timber yard of the William Langley and Sons Mill at Langley Vale. Mill cut cross arms for telephone lines, railway sleepers and paving for the streets of Sydney as well as sawn timber. The tramway came down out of the forestry to the mill and passed along the backyards of the houses that had been built there for the mill workers in Langley's Mill. It was known as Rotten Row, the street of houses. And uh, just a final look at the timber in the yard. The mill was located on the banks of the Lansdowne River.